Hello everybody. So today I'm gonna show you my project which I made at Bombay. There are a few, a couple of tweaks which I had to do, but still I think this is good enough for. Uh, you know, this is ready for a demonstration now. So there. Uh, just a second. I need to connect this adapter to the power cord. This is not wireless yet, so I'm trying to make it wireless. But for now, this basically explains you what this does. This is a robo which balances itself on just two wheels. Uh, it is just booting up. Look at that. Whoa, 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 whoa. I need to set it. There you go. Look at that. Now, to stabilize, to stabilize this uh, model so that it doesn't uh, keep on oscillating on an axis, we made sure that it just keeps on moving in the forward direction. Look at that. It's going to balance itself and then it's going to move forward. Whoa, 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 whoa. There. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, what they taught us in Bombay was uh, how to just put it together. Uh, after that, they just told us what kind of algorithm do we have to use, and then uh, how to code it, uh, how to write that algorithm using the computer. So I wrote the algorithm. I uh, tried to tweak it in a couple of places so that it may it can just come up and stand up like this without moving. And uh, moreover, I can make sure this model can balance at any angle. So I'll show you what I mean. Where's the screwdriver? Oh, just a second. Um, okay. I'll do it. look at that <coughs> now it can balance at this angle too even though the angle is so steep the algorithm inside it won't let the model fall so there are basically two sensors which can also be found in an iPhone <coughs> so they're placed over here you can see those this is an accelerometer and this is a gyro this is a gyro this is an accelerometer so this is the one which actually uh, tells the position of the model to this microcontroller over here, right here. And just let me switch it off so that I can show you what I'm ow, talking about. There. So this this thing right here is the microcontroller. It's the brain of what I'm doing. So I need the microcontroller needs to know. It's basically how a human positions himself. Uh, this position, uh, these sensors actually act as eyes, which tell the brain over here about the position of this uh, model and the brain then sends corrective signals through these wires to the motor driver IC which is there right over here to drive the motors in a way in which these sensors can again tell this brain that the model is balanced itself and uh, using this potentiometer I can control the angle of balance uh, angle at which this uh, whole model is balancing it can be either this angle or this angle so basically this is the direction in which this this is the direction in which the model travels without any uh, external disturbance or something and it can balance on two wheels this is actually basically the mechanism on which uh, the Segway motorbikes which are uh, available in the US actually they're pretty common in the US you can also see them in movies uh, Google employees use them a lot to uh, uh, ferry from one place to the another in their whole uh, campus Google campus so this is basically the principle on which seg Segway works and I made this in Bombay I wanted to show it to you after this is completely you know, tweaked up and all that stuff so I think this is good enough uh, I plan in the future to make sure that I can control this using remote control the way I control RC aircraft but uh, basically the algorithm which I use in this has got uh, more uh, applications than just this this project is just a basic explanation 
example of how uh, you can use that algorithm. It's called a PID algorithm, proportional integral derivative. That algorithm can be used not only for this, but the uh, but for any robo, which is basically robo or any uh, craft which has got self-balancing properties or self-correcting properties. It's like it can sense the error. <coughs> it can sense the error and uh, correct itself. So let's go for this again. It's booting up. I'll just place it like that. There you go. I probably yeah I set it to this angle to show you that it can uh, balance at any angle. Look at that, it's balancing itself. So now I can even correct the angle using this potentiometer right here. So yeah, just a second, I need to correct this. Okay, one, two, three. There you go. Now, now as you can see the model is straightened up a bit but it's oscillating so to make sure this oscillation doesn't occur because uh, <clears throat> and even though the mo model is balanced the microcontroller itself is actually creating its own error and trying to rectify it so creating an error and trying to rectify uh, rectify the same error causes the whole model to oscillate like this so that may cause the motor driver IC right here to burn out because of excessive current draw so I'll just try and make sure that it goes in just one direction uh, which will avoid this oscillation I hope this stops it from oscillating come on, come on, come on. there you go now look at that I think this wire is just trying to stop it from going ahead now look at that oh, what happened? Come on, what's up? Okay, let me just boot it up again. Yeah. Come on, there you go. Yeah. It's going ahead with a with more speed than I expected it to. I'll set it. But yeah, this is what I basically did. So enjoy. Yeah, look forward for more uh, experiments I'm going to post on Arzus now. So, bye bye.